What up, guys? A five turn minute four here. I'm um, coming back at you. Uh, got some stuff in um, past couple weeks or so. I'll start off with cards. Um, first, I got this from Panini. Here's a redemption I've been waiting on for a long time, and uh, this one isn't even the the long one I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for one since like last, I think August or July or something. This one probably since like December or so. But um, it's a Demarius Thomas, um, one of those patch auto phenoms. It was a pretty nice one though. I was, I was pretty pleased with the coloring. You got three colors over over here, and then um, if you look right there by the S, you can see a little bit of orange too. So um, pretty happy that I at least got one with some color in it. Nice looking auto too, and uh, misses jersey number by about eight. But that that's just luck if you if you're able to score um, a jersey number card on the redemption. So that's that right there, and um. Next got just some mail and just some cards that um, either compost buys or um, combined shipping with some other ones that I've gotten in. Um, first I got this one. This is pretty cool. I got this for cheap too. Um, Six-way autograph. Entrell Roll. Chris Houston. Mike Jenkins. Reggie Nelson. Dominic Rogers Cromartie. And Malcolm Jenkins, who can't cover Vernon Davis, as our Romy <laughs> always says. Um, but got that for cheap. Got up the little authentication thing with it too. Numbered out of 30. I should probably should probably should have shown that. So it's pretty cool. Like I said, I'm a big fan of multi autographs like triple autographs, dual autographs, or anything more. So um I like that kind of stuff. Um got this red refractor in of Christopher Schwinden. Numbered out of five. That's the only reason why I picked that up. I got that for about what is number two? Four, four or five dollars um, shipped. So thought that was pretty cool. Um, got these two in a lot. Derek Williams auto, rookie premier, and Ryan Howard, Connor Jackson. I obviously, I bought it for this guy. Did not have a Ryan Howard auto yet, so that's pretty cool. And then um, picked all these up. Free shipping. Got. I think each of these were like. This is like a buck, I think. Um, it's Antonio Holmes, numbered out of 94. Uh, Rob Hausler, autograph. All these are out of plates and patches. Numbered out of 199. Um, this was this was 25 cents. That's the only reason why I bought this. Santana Moss, numbered 10 of 10. So I thought that was pretty cool for a quarter. Um, this guy who had a pretty good year last year and... I think he's going to have a decent year again this year, but his stuff sells for, like, nothing. Miguel Montero. The dude had, like, 20 home runs and 80-some RBIs last year, and this is um rookie on-card helmet. I got that for, like, two bucks. And um, pretty cool Nate Washington, rookie contender's auto. I think a lot of people know who Nate Washington is. He was undrafted and went to, what school did he go to? Tiffin. So, another one of those... um good good or uh, like feel good good luck stories that um guys come out of nowhere and just make it big but thought that was pretty cool and then um biggest card that I picked up and got this for a pretty good deal in my opinion um got this thing for I believe it was like 32 or something like that but you'll see why in a second um not the best players in the back but um I'll, I'll just show it it's a decent card it's number 4 of 5 or 2 of 5 um it's one of those exquisite uh, quad patch autos of Paul Williams, and you got uh, two color there, a little bit of three color, but I'll just call it two color. Bernard Berrien, um, two color right there, and then on the front, um, Santonio Holmes and Ted Ginn Jr. So, got one of the best um, punt returners in the game right there, and Santonio Holmes is uh, pretty decent, Super Bowl MVP. Two colors there, and then three colors on the Ginn. So it's numbered right there, two of five. Thought that was a really sick card. This guy had this really badly listed. Like he took a really fuzzy picture of it and um, didn't really put any details. I just found it and um, I've seen these normally going for like probably 50 or 60, like for cards that are similar to this. So I thought I'd, I'd, I'd pick it up. And um, the reason why they're on the card together, I found out, is because these two went to Ohio State and these two went to Fresno State. So um, thought that was pretty cool. That's why they got the pairing. I mean, obviously. Paul Williams, <laughs> you don't want him on any um on any cards you have, but whatever. And then today I got the, these in the mail. I'm not gonna take these out of the bag. Um, 
just because I already got everything all organized, but they're authenticated by um, Med Chasky or Mead Chasky Sports Enterprises. And I, I got these for $15, a really good deal. Um, Carlos Pena, Game Used Easton Batting Gloves. Yes, the writing is faded, you can see that. Um, but still, for the Cubs PC, guy used to be, he was a Cub last year. Um, pair of batting gloves, both of them signed and authenticated for 15 bucks. I was like, why not? Um, pretty good player, will probably have close to 400 home runs when his career is over. So, um, figured, couldn't pass that up. But anyway, now on to bats. First one I got is this Lyle Overbay signature model. Um, when he played for the Blue Jays, you can see it's pounded with use. Um, if I can, you can probably see a little bit of, yeah, there's um, pretty thick C marks in there. Um, from where he was probably hitting home runs or just gappers or something like that, but um, as you can see, it was it was really badly cracked, like all the way till um down to his signature. So I had to um do some work on this thing, but um I glued it, as you can see. So looks pretty decent now, um in pretty good shape. But there's the handle, so he can totally use that for a long time with his number 17 on the end of it. So um. Pick that up for the old bat PC. Again, I wouldn't have bought any of these if I wouldn't have gotten them for good deals. So, um, if you're like, why do you, why would you want a bat of that player? Like, like this guy, for instance. Um, I got a lot of three right here. This is the first one I'm going to show. Um, two of them were uncracked, and um, I got this whole lot for under hundred dollars, like well under a hundred dollars. So, um, a one uncracked bat alone goes for probably like if you buy it to use for yourself or, or if a major leaguer buys a bat. Um, the higher end brands will run you like 125, maybe even more per bat. So I thought for two uncracked bats that were used by players, and then the third one of a, of a decent player is cracked for for all under 100. I was like, yeah, I gotta gotta do that. But the first one is um, Brandon Moss, Pittsburgh Pirates, Louisville Slugger. Um, this is the uh, this is obviously the worst bat in a lot. Um, he was number 39, but. It's totally uncracked. There's, there's nothing on here. Um, couple ball marks. The Major League logo right there. You can see. Um, so pretty decent. He's not the best player, obviously, but um, he's still hanging in there, trying to fight for some playing time. So, and then this bat, pretty cool. This is the this is one of the brands I was uh, talking about that can run you um, well over hundred dollars for an uncracked bat. Um, it's a Marucci. This one is also um, uncracked. There's no bra breaks or anything in it. It's uh, Adam LaRoche. numbers right there in the end and then um Marucci always does this they put the date stamp the day they made it and then the number looks like May 20 or er, April 21st of 08 so when he was with the Pirates as well so I thought that was cool again tons of ball marks um but totally uncracked and he's 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 a decent player he's not he's not an all-star or anything but he's good for 25 home runs and um close to 100 RBIs per year, so um, can pass that up. And then also in the lot came this cracked, but um, very well still nice. Number on the end, 7, Louisville Slugger M9, of J.D. Drew, who is um, probably the, or for sure the best out of all three of the players that I just showed um, from his Red Sox days. Some pretty, some pretty cool ball marks in there and everything. You can see that. So I thought those three bats were, um, when I saw that a lot, I was like, oh, well, that's, um, that, that's a good deal, so I had to pick those up. And then by far, um, the most, um, the biggest thing, the most expensive thing that I've picked up the past three, four weeks or so is um, this bat right here. This is also uncracked. Um, it's an old hickory with some pine tar right there. This guy, um, it could go either way with him. I think he's going to have a huge year this year, but we'll see. Um, Paul Goldschmidt, um, authenticated, MLB authenticated, uh, uncracked, signed, old, old Hickory bat, and um, when you type in this code on MLB auctions, it shows that it's from the uh, f Futures Game workouts or something like that, he actually gave this bat to the authenticators at the um, workouts, so he didn't use this in the, in the Futures Game, but he, he used it um, probably with double A before he got called up, and he used it in the Futures Game workouts. So um, that's all I have right now, guys. The video is almost at 10 minutes, so I got to cut it off. But thanks for watching. Hope you like it, and let me know. Um, let me know your thoughts. So thanks for watching. Peace.